Hey guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you with me why I do a decluttering marathon. I'm going through lots of spaces in my home, so if you're wanting to minimize and straighten your space, then please stick around because you will get lots of motivation today. As always, starting in the closet is kind of an easy win for me. So I don't feel like coats need to live in my space, so I'm going to run these upstairs into our extra winter closet, and then we'll keep going. So I'm gonna take a second to think about all this stuff. I didn't love these when I was my pre-pregnancy size. I didn't love them when I was nursing. I didn't really love them when I wasn't nursing. I keep holding on to them thinking there's a season of life where they'll be great because I love like the ribbed fabric and the buttons and I think it's so sweet. It just, it doesn't really look that good on me. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta tell yourself the truth, right? These are my t-shirts. I think I wore these um, for three years. I have five of them, but there's only three right here. Um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to move on from this. Now, I tried all of these on, and again, I love them, and I wore them for a really long time, um, but they just, you know, they're not even really in good shape anymore. Okay, so, so far I am down 14 items. I have seven shirts. I have got five dress shirts. This, I've had this for like eight years and it's just still going strong. Um, I love when I find those pieces that I can just hold on to forever. I've got four uh, summertime outerwear items. So the kind of stuff you throw on to go into the grocery store. Two pairs of PJ pants and pajama shorts. One more pair of these leggings in the wash right now. And I just picked up three new pairs of shorts for summer. So there are three pairs of shorts that will make their way into here. And then this is all like sleepwear kind of stuff, which I'm not gonna show you guys that. And then I'm gonna get into all of this. So here are socks. I'm only going to keep just the white socks. And then from here up is my husband's stuff, so I'm not gonna touch any of that, but I am gonna grab this big box down. It is filled with clothing too, so I'm gonna go through that really quick. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong, it was way more than a dream. Yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights but every time I wear them, this zipper rubs against like my calf and it really hurts. So this is so sad for me, but I'm gonna let them go. 
these are like old and falling apart. I have probably worn these uh, for five years now, but you know, they just, they're comfortable and I don't slip in them and fall, so I'm gonna hold on to them. <laughs> I got rid of 35 items. I keep on to it feels like a keep on driving. Feel excellent about how the closet turned out. Now I'm gonna move on to makeup and like my bathroom counter. So these things are going to be relocated. This is all the stuff I am going to pass on or let go of. Like some of it's like the eyeliners are gone. This I just didn't use. Um, this is gone. Like you know, just this is brand new and it just didn't work for me. So I'll just pass that on to someone. I use Bobbi Brown primer. Well People Powder and Bronzer, the It Cosmetics Blush that I've had for a long time, Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation, Young Living uh, Savvy Minerals Liquid Foundation, Under Eye Concealer, Eco Tools with a Sponge. I love the Badger Lip Balms. Those are like a must for me. I have some of the Roller Lash Mascara. This I would highly recommend. A random primer, it's not very good, but it's okay. The Kat Von D Mascara, I kinda hate it, but I bought it, so I'm gonna use it.
So we've got some puzzles, a stack of games, um, some various kinds of like block toys, kinetic sand, clay, dominoes, chalk. This is all like um, coloring books. And then this is like a big bag of like paint stuff with like the water paint stuff underneath in a coloring book that isn't supposed to be in there. And then puzzles, bubbles. So honestly, we use a good portion of this so there's not gonna be a lot to get rid of here. As per usual, I'm going to put in our most loved things first and then I'm gonna kind of decide uh, what to do with what's left, so let's get started. First of all, spin art. <laughs> Who doesn't love spin art? This I use all the time. It's just a bin of puffs, like little soft balls, and various little like things um, you can use to pick them up. So I use these for all kinds of like sensory activities. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Sticky blocks are a must. I wish I had more of them. Dominoes, also a must, although they are so loud. Like, so like when they dump this whole thing out on the floor, it makes me want to pull my hair out. But they're still super useful and, you know, I don't know. But I am gonna put it up in the back so it's not so like out in the open and maybe that will deter kids from using it because I don't want them to pull those out all the time. They make me crazy. So I have these and uh, saw them on Instagram. People who have them love them. Stacking rocks. My kids don't think they're particularly amazing, but I'm going to hold on to them because, you know, I have a lot of kids. I just never know when they're going to like think these are cool one day. I need to like find a different place for the floor puzzles. Like they open them like animals, which they got that from me, admittedly. Um, but we have got dinosaurs and we've got the US map. Um, and they use them pretty regular, so eh, we're gonna keep them. But I am gonna put them in backwards so you can't see how they were opened. I get these little um, boards at the Dollar Tree. We use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, but they are looking really rough and I've already gotten new pens to go with them a few times over. I, and they're just like cardboard on the back so if they get wet, they don't do particularly well. I might just like let these go and get new ones. I'm definitely letting these ducks go. Kids could literally care less about these silly things. Their kinetic sand and Play-Doh will get kept until it is dead. Sensory kit that goes with the Play-Doh and stuff. That will all stay easy for them to get to because it's their favorite thing to grab right now. I've got this big paint mat, guys, that comes with like water markers. I got it off Amazon, seemed like a really cool thing, but I got this paint mat from a Kiwi crate a long time ago, and I have absolutely loved it. In fact, I should get on KiwiCo and see if I can just buy that crate again because it was a great kit. My kiddos loved it. Um, uh, well, I should keep this too, because I have five kids, and when they all want to do it, we use both of them. Kit off Etsy for my daughter. 
Um, it's humble and kind, and I highly recommend these. They're a little pricey, but my daughter probably plays with this five times a week, and I just keep re uh, replacing the Play-Doh when the Play-Doh goes out, and she loves it, and it's super awesome. Cute little flower, and some little unicorns, and stars, and gems, and little gold pieces, but it is really sweet for a little girl. And they have some, um, I think I'm gonna get some for my boys too. Like even my nine year old, my almost 10 year old, I, I even think that if he had like a dinosaur one, he might like smirk at it, but he would play with it. So I'm gonna get two more of those because I love them. Uh, alphabet cards. Of course we have all of our learning puzzles alphabet numbers shapes are upstairs right now and then we have like a bluey puzzle kit they reach for those a lot coloring books i don't know why i hate to get rid of coloring books i hate to get rid of coloring books but like my kids aren't particularly into snoopy and it's not christmas time but like this is what I pull out when it's time to color are these coloring books. But like if I would just get them like a coloring book every season that's for that season. If I was like, hey, let's go pick out a spring coloring book. They would probably fill out the whole book. But because they got, you know, 10 coloring books on Christmas day when you're not gonna color Christmas stuff anymore. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna start over on coloring books. I'm gonna take the kids and we're gonna pick out just coloring books for the season just spring coloring books summer coloring books and when that season's over we're gonna toss them or build paper airplanes out of the rest of the paper but i'm not just gonna hold on to all these coloring books like it kills me i really it really kills me to let go of coloring books I sat down by the ocean. okay so i am keeping her recent Puggles book, that's gonna be her coloring book that she uses. I am gonna keep this adult coloring book for like one more round. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, but I'm gonna keep it. Angela Braniff recently said in one of her videos, she was like, hey, one of her tips was when your day is going haywire to spend just a few minutes and get on the floor and play with your kids and kind of like wake up that connection make eye contact, talk to them, and see if it doesn't improve their behavior, your mood, all that stuff. So I was like, oh, that's so dumb that I don't wanna do it, but I know she's right. And I started doing that like a week ago when I would have one that was throwing tantrums or misbehaving. Um, I would wait till they weren't actually in trouble for something, but then I would sit down and play with them for just like five minutes, not even 15, like five minutes. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep this coloring book um, in case my daughter's having a moody day. Maybe we can sit down and color together. Two of these little pre-K books, I'm gonna keep them uh, for a little longer just till I start their good and the beautiful kindergarten curriculum. Then I won't need these anymore. But for now, they're a great thing to like just throw at them during dinner or when you're making dinner and you need them to be busy. Keeping my 10 year old's maze book, that's a good table activity for him, and his origami book, they love that. I'm not keeping the sticker face books. They're super creepy, like my kids really like them, but they creep me out a little bit. And I've got two Mickey and Minnie Mouse books. I'm gonna keep their egg chalk for outside. You guys, I just got rid of a whole bin of stuff. I did not think I was gonna be able to pull that much stuff out of this cabinet. But what should go in this bin? I have to get games in it. And here is my get rid of pile. Lots of coloring books, um, just containers and things, worn out boards, 
worn out pens. Oh, that's a good one. That one's not worn out. Ooh, I always struggle so much to get rid of these because I just think they're in crap condition, but the kids will pull them out. No, that one won't even wipe clean anymore. Maybe I should just keep this one. Okay, I'm calling an audible. I'm gonna keep one board. No reason to keep two if I don't have three. If I don't have enough for every kid to have one, no use to just keep two. So only one kid feels left out, that's not helpful. But um, I could maybe, you know what, look, this doesn't even stick in there. It pops out, I'm not keeping it. I'm not keeping it, fine, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do this. I am gonna keep these, these are my pens. I've actually been looking everywhere for them. They don't belong in this cabinet. Um, just my tin of pens. Uh, this, if you saw my closet a minute ago, this came out of my closet, and I was excited to use it as a pen tin. So this will go next to my nightstand. You guys, why am I so stuck? Uh, by the way, if these were just letter cards, I would totally keep them, but they're sight, like, like look, see? V is for vehicles. See how small the V is and how big the picture is? Like. The kid doesn't look at this and say, V. They look at this and say, oh mom, look at all those cool cars. I really like the yellow one with the stripe on it. Like it totally distracts them from the purpose of the cards, which is to practice um, like recognizing their letters. So like, if I pull this up, they don't say T. They say, oh look, wheels. They don't even say tires. They say wheels. But so these ducks are from like a game and the game did never work properly and I thought, well, we'll keep the ducks and maybe they can use them for some kind of sensory play. But they just, you know, they don't, they don't care about them at all. So they're gonna go. So I've gotten rid of over a hundred things so far. And like, it seems small, right? I'm not getting rid of that much stuff, but these tiny little things that are just there for you to clean up and not for anyone to enjoy. They just, they don't need time or space in your home. Okay, I forgot about the bubbles. I'm just gonna let the kids go play with these outside right now and use them up. scary pile of the emptying of the drawers. So I am going to go through this very quickly. This goes with like gift wrap. This goes with office supplies, uh, diapers, toys, 
This is going to be filed with a few other things and then all of these things go up to bedrooms. And this, um, I just haven't started using yet, but it is a teething necklace and we will get to that soon. So I will probably put that with the baby's clothes and camera case goes on the camera. Being too specific for my undergarments, this is what I kept out of this drawer. These are all the non-nursing bras um, that I actually, I've had, <laughs> it looks like a lot, I know, but all of these are from Target and because the shipment got lost, they sent me like double shipments. Um, so that's why I have so many of those. And then I'm probably gonna let go of those, definitely gonna keep that, and those are all cycle underwear that I'm not um, currently needing. So I will find a home for those and some miscellaneous paperwork that's left over. These drawers now look like this. So fairly organized there. I think I'm going to repurpose this drawer because um, I don't have a great office space right now. So I think I'm gonna repurpose this drawer for like notebooks, planners, pens, and anything I need to grab that I want to keep out of reach of children. Now I have my mountain of laundry thrown onto my unmade bed because you know, we're playing fast and loose today and sometimes that's just how life is. I have already started uh, decluttering some uh, just baby items that were uh, not quite the right season. Um, or will be the wrong size by the time we get to this season or that he's already grown out of and a couple more things out of my closet that I decided just weren't quite right. And now I'm going to declutter straight from this pile of laundry. I'd like to get upstairs and work on the toys and clothes upstairs as well. I really hope I get to that before nap time ends, but I'm going to start just right here and get rid of the things that I know don't fit my kids well. By the way, I got home today. I had to take my son to pick up some things and run a couple errands. I got home and my husband said, I did all the laundry. And there it is. On the unmade bed. Done. I can feel you. These are my 10 year old jeans and I am officially going to retire them all um, to the future wear closet for my 5 year old um, and they're in good enough shape that I will tuck them away and I will keep all however many pairs of these we have um, so that will save me money later because they aren't worn or damaged or anything like that. Caddy, I do appreciate that my husband ran through all the laundry. And if the best we could do this week was get clean laundry out of laundry hampers, that would have been better than not having any clean laundry at all. So I, you know, I, I am grateful. So I have these sorted into piles. These are baby and two-year-olds clothes, girls clothes, five-year-olds clothes, 10-year-olds clothes, socks, unders to be sorted, adult clothes. And here is the pile of things that's gonna get put away for uh, future use because my son's grown out of them and the next one hasn't grown into them yet. So I'm gonna start by putting this stuff away and then I'm gonna go through their closets right now before I put all this laundry away. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. By you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two.
going on with that but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching uh, this train wreck of a video it felt like um, but yeah thank you all the same for being here subscribe like leave a comment all that good stuff and I will catch you next time bye